Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I have a Waldorf homeschool haul to share with you. Most of these things are from a childstream.com uh, but I have a few things from Waldorf Supplies and I actually want to show you those things first. They are things that I have previously ordered in the past and I'm actually ordering them again. That's how much we like them. So let me put this aside and show you the first thing that I'm super pleased about are these painting boards and we already ordered two of them. I cannot remember the size of them but I'll leave information down in the description box below about these painting boards. They are fabulous. These are the first painting boards that we've ever purchased. We've been homeschooling for over 15 years and I cannot believe that we have never had these painting boards before. They're not just great for painting though. We have used these in our nature study in order to display like specimens that we find in nature. They are so gorgeous and multifunctional. I also use this to display some of our unit studies that we're doing. I'll arrange some of the things that we need to study and it makes it really beautiful. And then I can carry this into our schoolroom and place it on the table. And then when we're done, I can easily scoop it away. So they make really beautiful trays as well. And so I just, I'm really, Really loving these. However, they're expensive. They're about $25 each, but they are so worth it and I'm going to explain why. I tried to source an alternative and I found these from Dick Blick and these are, actually these are the same size, so these are 18 inches by 24 inches. These are actually gessoed boards. You can get them where they're just plain without anything on them or you can get them white. And I thought that this would make a great alternative to these painting boards since these are made in order to be used for uh, different art techniques. And so I thought it could handle being wet. My biggest complaint about these is that the odor emanating from them is like nauseating. It is so strong. I, I've only opened one. This one is still in the package, but you can see that it's a little bit torn here. That's enough to like it's it's so strong it has uh, filled the uh, the cabinet where I'm storing these the one that I actually did open I left outside in order to air out it was so strong that it actually blew that strong those strong fumes into our house I've left it out there for over a month it still smells and because I left it outside for so long I've actually warped the board so I've ruined it but these are only about four dollars and so I was trying to see an alternative since these are so expensive, but totally not worth it for the for the purposes that I purchased this board. It is not worth it because it's just not going to work for this smell. This probably works fine as a gessoed board for other art projects, but definitely not for the purposes that I was purchasing it for. So I've already purchased two and I went ahead and I purchased two more. They're amazing. They're gorgeous. They don't smell. They are sealed with whatever is safe for children and they uh they're great for like your watercolor painting wet on wet watercolor painting so you know it's going to be durable and hold up to that they're also not too heavy which is really nice we have taken ours to the beach and they have totally held up really well we've done our nature journaling at the beach and we've also used it to display like any of the specimens that we have found there so i highly recommend these i know it's a splurge and i know that it's a huge investment but considering the quality, these are going to last. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is also something else that we are replacing, and it is this huge chalkboard here. And I have a couple of words on this as well, but I'm gonna move it in a minute because of all the glare. Uh, this chalkboard is 24 inches by 36 inches. It's made by Flipside, which is a small-ish company in the Midwest, I believe. And the car there may be other carriers, but we got this from Waldorf Supplies. Now, we purchased these same chalkboards years ago. I purchased six of them. We mounted them on in our school room. And we so we had those chalkboards as well as our huge four by six foot chalkboard. They do not carry the size that I currently have, which is 22 inches by 32 inches. They carry this size and they also carry some smaller sizes. So I decided to try out this size, which is not that much bigger than the ones that I currently have, but this is a really good size. It's also lightweight and it comes with the mounting tape 
already here so that you can mount it. They're very lightweight and they, they work really, really well with the chalks that we use. We primarily use either white chalk for writing or chalk pastels. And those are highly pigmented chalks that could leave like residue, but so far, even though you're not gonna get it back to like the perfect black, I found that they work really well. You know, you, you can use like a wet rag to clean it off and they've held up really well. Now this was packaged really well and yet it still came damaged on the corner, on two corners. And my, my gut reaction is that this was somehow dropped just because it was so well packaged but the customer service at waldorfsupplies.com was awesome. I called them, you speak to a person, you had no automated um, answering service, and they're sending a replacement um, easy peasy that they pulled up my invoice and then they're sending a replacement. So I was really pleased with how easy and how quickly they resolved that. Now, personally, I don't have a huge problem with that Part, that damage. The reason why I called the company was so that I could give you specific information on, on you know, their customer service and what they can provide. Uh, that's pretty minimal for me. I <laughs> probably would, uh, you know, probably get damaged over time anyway. So uh, not a huge deal, and it's still functional because it's only on the corner. But if you like your things perfectly you know, perfect <laughs> when you receive them. Just know that they have excellent customer service. Okay, so that was from waldorfsupplies.com. Uh, that is one of the Waldorf vendors that I use often, but the one Waldorf vendor that I use the most is a childsdream.com. And I want to show you some of the things that we got from a child's dream. Uh, they're constantly getting new uh, merchandise. And so I like to see um, how, how some of those products are going to work with our homeschool, but they also carry some of my old favorites and I'm going to show you those as well. Most of the things here are new to me and so I'm eager to tell you about them as we use them. Some of the stuff, if you have followed me for any period of time, you recognize these peg dolls. We have a lot of them. We use a lot of them. They are all over our homeschool room. The children make them. I make them for the children. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you all the different ones that we got, but they come in multiple sizes. The, I guess the daddy size, they come in the mommy size. And then there's a child size. And then this little one here is the bunting baby. They also have the finger puppets and they also have one more tiny size right here. And then there's also larger ones and other varieties, but these are the ones that I replenish this time around. Okay, and then there's a couple other things in here. Oh, I am so excited about these things. So let me pull all of these things out and tell you all about them. All right, so let me show you a couple of old favorites as well. The, these are the Stockmar watercolor paints. These are concentrated, so you mix them with water. I recommend that you don't add any water into your original supplies. You don't want to damage your watercolors by introducing mold into your watercolors. And so just mix as much as what you can use in a short period of time. Or I've been told that if you store your mixed watercolors in the refrigerator, they'll last longer, but try to avoid contaminating your original supply. So I did not buy the entire set. There are six colors. I bought the five that we use the most. There is like an orangey color that I'm not super crazy about. Um, and I, so I skipped that one, but these are the ones that we use the most with yellow being the one that runs out the most often. So I should have actually bought a larger one of that one. We also got the, uh, what are these? The ink cartridges for our fountain pen. I actually had a really difficult time sourcing these online at any other vendor for the specific fountain pens that we have, which were also purchased from a child's dream. So I was really glad that she had these available. The one thing that I am missing that I do not know where to find is the correction pen for the fountain pen. So I still need to source that. It used to be carried at a child's dream. I didn't see it this time. All right, something else that my children really, really enjoy is the beeswax and this one happens to be the really, really thin one, which is fabulous for a number of reasons. We use the thick one for 
are modeling as modeling beeswax. So they'll you can buy this. It's going to be thicker and you can use it to do different forms and shapes for your different main lessons. The reason why I like the thin ones is because you can do other projects with them. You can see some of some examples right here but the other reason why i like them is that when we t i don't know why we end up doing this but we tend to work with our waxes in the winter time it just seems like a cozy activity we don't tend to do it so much in the summer the problem is is that in the winter this is a lot stiffer especially the thicker one and it's not as easy to warm it up and use it to to make different different shapes <clears throat> excuse me and so having the thinner one means that it can get warmed up and pliable faster so that is one reason why I like the thinner ones versus the thicker ones but the thicker ones are going to probably be a good staple in your homeschool if you're doing a lot of modeling uh, you can also do it with uh, clay and other modeling mediums but that one I especially like all right so a couple more new things I want to show you th this one first because it was just so beautiful this is my little matching game and this was made I think by a Waldorf teacher yeah a Waldorf teacher and her artwork is so beautiful uh, I admit I thought these were larger but that is okay let me let me show you I don't want to damage this let me show you how beautiful these are okay so this is a typical matching game oops there we go uh simple simple matching game rules this is the the back side and it's just super beautiful and just look at what you're matching look at these cars they're so pretty oh they're so gorgeous uh so these have these wonderful images on them. It's a beautiful matching game, but also there's a game that we really like by Ibu. There's story cards that you can create stories with, with the different images. This would be perfect for that as well. So you could do a matching game, and then as you match the cards, you could tell a part of a story. So really, really, really nice. All right, let me put these aside and go into a couple of the things that are new for us. We have never gotten the curly braided wool roving this is for doll making and the reason why i got this is because my daughter recently made some uh, needle felted dolls and they were so breathtaking and i wanted to do that again with her she did this in a waldorf class and i want to do that again with her and so there were a couple of supplies that i needed to get and i thought this would would work well for the curly hair and it came in a lot of different uh, a lot of different colors. I've never used this product before, so I'll let you know how that turns out. And for that same, oh, and I got the white as well. And then for that same uh, project, I got the pipe cleaners. They come in two sizes. I already had the thinner, so I decided to get the thicker, and I thought that might be easier for her when she's doing the dolls. You use this as the base of the doll, so you kind of loop it so that you have the arms and then an area for the head, I believe. Maybe you do a body as well. I actually can't remember. Maybe you use two of them. And then you can use your wool batting I believe or wool bat to create your doll so super awesome project I'm really excited that with her this year uh, so that those are the supplies for that I love how she sends samples a child stream sends different samples of the different felt um, that they have it's all mostly 100% wool felt I believe it's all 100% wool felt but of different thicknesses my favorite is the Holland wool felt, wool felt which she sent a sample of all right so these are new for us these were kind of a bit of a splurge these are silk ribbons and the reason why I got these silk ribbons wow that's so beautiful is for a felted ball project we have a kit that has a to make a felted ball and then you have ribbons coming from it so that when you're tossing it back and forth the ribbons kind of trail behind and I thought that would be a fun project that my daughter could make but then my son and I could use those balls for our mental math so we have different 
things that we toss back and forth when we do our mental math. It's great for kinesthetic movement and practicing your math times tables or math facts. And so I decided to try these out. These were really expensive. These are $6 each and they're silk and they're just gorgeous. A little goes a long way. And so I only bought four colors, but she had a huge, beautiful assortment of colors. Anyway, you could certainly trade this out for a cheaper alternative if you wanted to. I decided to try a couple of them and that is the project that we wanted to do them with. But I think also these would look super, super cute for our peg dolls and our finger puppets. Um, this one I purchased, but it would, wouldn't look really cute at the like this ribbon at the end of like a hat for instance just kind of coming down i think that would look really nice anyway that's why we got those okay we also got some undyed yarn and i got various kinds i believe this might be the worsted this might be the bulky and this is nature spun three ply yarn right this is the new yarn that a child's dream is now carrying in a beautiful rainbow of colors i got the natural one so that we could dye it ourselves because that is something that i am eager to do this year as i teach my daughter who is seven how to knit for the first time but i also got some of the other varieties that she had uh, also for us to practice dyeing the wool and just getting like a different rainbow of colors that you would not normally get if you just purchase the colors that, um, like for instance, a Lamb's Pride is, uh, uh <laughs> the company that I like uh, the most when it comes to yarn. So this way you can get a different assortment of colors. Okay. I want to show you one more thing. Uh, I have actually a lot of more things, but I want to show you this one because, uh, I think this is a, a new size for us for main lesson books. We haven't ever used... Oh, it's, look at the beautiful rainbow. I just... I love it. It's so pretty. Uh, so this size is... I don't remember. I think 6 by 9 actually. And these come with quite a few pages. Oh, I didn't even notice that. They have... Is that... Uh, hold on a second. I think you get the page you get a, what do you call those? Like a, a like a tissue paper in between your two pages, which is fantastic. So if you're doing things like with your fountain pen and it's not completely dry, you don't want to ruin it and it just ends up on your little separator page. Or if you're doing things with your wax crayons and you don't want it to transfer, or if you're writing on this page, you don't want, like if you're writing with a pencil, you don't want to transfer onto that page so it goes into you know, your separator page. So that's great. Uh, th this We haven't ever used this size before and I wasn't quite sure which main lesson we were gonna use this for, whether it was gonna be for journaling or for some other purpose, but I went ahead and got these because it was a, a different size than we typically use for our main lesson books. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can find all the different sizes of main lesson books, both at a child's dream and at waldorfsupplies.com. All right, let me show you something else that's new. Oh, I didn't even know these were from, from Sarah's Silks. That is fantastic because I love the silks that we get from Sarah's Silks. But now you can get cotton play cloths from Sarah's Silks. And we got this beautiful uh, corally orange apricot color and this sky blue and this rose color. Oh, the, the colors are here. So this one is orange, this is rose, and this is blue. And then we got the rainbow cloth. And my kids use cloth and the silks and other fabrics for their pretend play. This is really, really beautiful. And this one is really large. And what I love about Sarah Silk's offering this in cotton is that this was a lot more affordable than the silk. And I can't say for certain, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be more durable than the silks. The silks that we purchased years and years ago from a vendor that I don't even remember who it was, they've lasted really, really well. But Sarah's silks that we got recently, my kids were a little bit rough with them and one of them tore like right in the center. But but granted, my child had put a bean bag and then wrapped a rubber band around it and then was throwing it like a torpedo. So clearly we used it a little bit roughly and it and it ripped. 
all the other ones have held up really fine are really good and then this this cotton i think will will work really well as well and i love all the beautiful colors this rainbow one is just super beautiful and then we got some of the other ones and what's great about the cotton uh, play the play cloths that are cotton versus the silk ones is that these ones are larger than the silk ones so they're more affordable i believe or they're roughly the same price but they're larger and so that's going to be a lot of fun for the kids so whole new fun make-believe play that they can do the last three things four things i want to show you a couple of books and then these ones i hadn't ever seen before these rings are actually labeled as embroidery rings but i actually purchased them for a different reason i thought these would be really great to hang like the silks or the play cloth from so up high and then it could be kind of like a, a teepee underneath i also thought that these would be really great for different jugg juggling or just different kinesthetic projects and then i also thought they'd be really great to toss back and forth doing during our mental math i just thought it'd be something different and when we kind of change it up a little bit like that for a mental math it just makes it more enjoyable because it's it's fun at the same time and so we went ahead and i got five of these and these are really affordable they were two dollars each so i thought that was a great price okay so i got a couple of books and the first one i got is called transparent window scenes through the year and this book actually is pretty awesome we haven't used it yet because we only just got it but i am so pleased to see these different patterns in here so you you can see uh, oh, and it's divided by the seasons. That's great too. So you can see these different images and then there's this pattern here and I'm not sure if it recommends that you do this, but I thought I could just photocopy this with using our printer and then my daughter could cut this out and then she would have a pattern and that would be a lot easier for her to uh, to cut it out of the t the transparency paper it might say that at the beginning i actually don't know because i haven't read through this book yet and it also oh that is really cool it actually tells you how to make a light box it looks like which is fantastic but we just hang these in the window so you do also need in my opinion the kite paper to do this i don't know if you could do this with tissue paper you probably could and i got our kite paper from a child's dream as well so this will be a lot of fun great hands-on project for the kids to do and it'll really beautifully decorate your window really nice okay the last two things we got are for my daughter's main lesson block on math we have king maximo and the number knights and we have sarah and the number knights and i want to say king maximo is the first one and then sarah continues the story of king maximo i actually don't know even though our waldorf curriculum introduced math in this kind of story format introducing all four functions with like a king and a queen i actually never introduced math that way i i found it personally confusing i went to a waldorf school as a child and i remember being in my first grade classroom and not having a clue what was going on when the teacher introduced all four functions and i don't remember a lot from my schooling years but i remember copying it from the the board um you know like six times two equals 12 and 12 divided by four equals three or, or you know something something like that whereas all with the number 12 and different functions with addition subtraction multiplication and division and I had no clue what was going on and I also choose to do some of the the lessons it from our Waldorf curriculum in a more dry analytical way that you would find in more of a traditional approach and versus like the story and the really kind of imaginative way that you would find in a, in a Waldorf approach and so that's how I've done math in the past but this year being that this is the last time I'm going to be doing you know the whole curriculum with my daughter because our last student going through our homeschool i decided that i would like to try it the way that the curriculum actually says to do it and so i got these two resources to help me along even though i believe the curriculum that we're using which is the live education curriculum is pretty um complete i thought that it would be nice to to add some of these additional resources really beautiful the artwork is just very very nice so that is king maximo this one is hardback and then this one is by the same author this is sarah and the number knights this looks like a like a more simple printing with a simple binding and this one does not have any illustrations so it's all just the story all right so that rounds out the things that we got for our waldorf 
Waldorf Hall from Waldorf Supplies and from a childsdream.com. Information about both of those vendors is down below if you're interested in checking them out. I highly recommend that you do. We've been very pleased with all of the products that we have gotten from both of those vendors over the years. And if you'd like to see some of the other things that we are doing in our homeschool on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.